Welcome, welcome everybody. Monty here, Monty Plays Games. And today we're playing some more Astronauts. We just finished character creation last episode. It's now episode three. Imagine that, because number one was playing through the whole tutorial, and now we're redoing it. Speaking of that, I'm going to be ignoring the tutorial, even though I am going to turn on this box so we can have some light on, but not because it told me to. Uh, yeah, so here we are. We're out of character creation. We're finally around. We can left click to move around our little uh, little tiny room. Here's some beds. Uh, there's some bins. We're going to check every bin, every nook and cranny, uh, because I, apparently we rented this room. I don't know how that works, but we were here. And today we're going to explore the space station, at least this floor. We're not going to take the transit and go anywhere. At least I'm thinking we're not going to. And there's our little ship down there so we might start prepping our ship and get some things moved down there and buy some supplies um, but that's the plan for today and then quickly kind of talk about some basics so this is a top-down view uh, it is early access it's 0 0.14 and it's going to be 1.0 next year so I'm excited about that but I want to hit I for inventory and get things going I'm just going to hit shift click which just moves it on over um, and here's something, yeah, I'm going to move over the shoes as well. So that's nice. Um, they probably provide, let's see, I right-clicked on it. So it's a retro shoe with laces, uh, more for show than function. Uh, so there's factions attached to it. It's They're destructible. They're yellow, burnable, flexible, temp insulator, so that helps. Pocket sized. You can just put them in your little pocket. Good to know. Textiles and you can carry them. All right. And then we also are walking around with some vodka because that's just how the day starts. Uh, we also have a drink pouch. Um, I don't want to fight with it too much. I might be doing something wrong. This one I can drink from and I can view the mirror. Wait, can we truly alter our appearance? Oh, we can. We get another chance. Or I bet anytime we see a mirror, we can probably uh, change. Oh, and then we can see our career mode. I didn't know you could do this from in this room. That's funny. Okay. That makes sense. Very almost Fallout, right? Like, this is where we were when we created that character. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so we're going to walk around. We're going to right-click. We're going to open up all the stuff. Take everything we can. And go from there. Could we sleep if we wanted to? We could. We don't want to, but good to know. We'll probably come back here. I don't know. Like I said earlier. Oh, you know what I need to do? Uh, go to the rack. Because this is going to have a tote. This is... Uh, we can drag things around, and then we can place an item here, like a bag or an actual backpack would be nice. So right here we have an Oya Tamaiwa loyalty limited limited edition tote loyalty starts with you it's 82 percent condition so we can put that on our back uh and then this now is inventory that we haul around this inventory is like the ground it's one two three four it's probably this square my guess is this square and that square is that square i can test it out by putting the pressure suit up there uh, i was wrong and the helmet right there. So it was here and here. That makes sense. If I move over, you can see how the ground changes because it depends on where we're standing. So we're gonna put that in there. I'm gonna actually put this toolbox in my hands. And I'm gonna pick the stuff up off the ground and put it right in our tote. Right, right. So not I can unclick the ground if I want. So this is what we have in our toolbox. This is what we have in our small pouch. The small pouch is a part of the tote. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna put the food on that. So we got food on our pouch. We have our pressure suit and a helmet. Um, I'm gonna put the vodka bottle and the drink pouch in the hip pocket, uh, as well as two t-shirts. So, uh, now it's telling us to go visit our ship. Good, thanks. Don't tell me what to do. Let's see if there's anything in the refrigerator. Oh, another drink pouch. Probably sell one of those. 
Uh, what is this? Table. I don't think there's anything. I can uninstall the table. It requires a screwdriver. I've never tried taking things apart in the station. If you have, let me know. Do people get angry if you sell everything from your hotel room? I don't know. Oh, wow, look at that. There's a cigarette box that has eight Damask Rose cigarettes in it. The leading brand of marijuana off-world due to its history, quality, and affordability. A pure sativa strain bred for adverse growing conditions. The flower of the oasis. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. All right, let's leave the room. Uh, let's go out into the dark and read the story. Kaleg. The door to Kaleg Station slides open, and you're greeted by a familiar aroma of station vendor fare. Spot prawn, stir fry, and soya curry, kebab of chicken, and a yaji spice rub. Uh, Szechuan beef with pink peppercorn. Mm, your head knows that the meat is aquaponic or lab grown or worse. Uh oh. Uh, but your heart tells you that anything prepared by human hands is better than Trencher's chow. Is it prepared by human hands or with. Uh, anyway. Tired looking spacers circulate between the bunks. The refuel kiosk and the breaker yard moving in and out of the grossamer haze of cigarette smoke that is a permanent fixture on the station. The smokes are Sungera Viceroy's, the breaker brand of choice. Folks here will chain smoke them unfiltered. Ah, oh, no matter how many times Oya Tamaiwa execs find them for overworking the CO2 scrubbers. Your new ship is waiting in port, not far from the kiosk hub and scrap shops. Once you find it, you can finally undock from this rock. If you want to strip ships for salvage, all you need are, a hand, are uh, the hand tools you own, but you'll need a welder to start remodeling and repairing the holes. Ah, welder. Okay, either way, if you're lucky, you can finally start making a living. Something beyond the corporate sponsored retrace of breaking ships for daily wage. A life you call your own. Well, cool. And I did forget to mention in that tutorial, like, I worked on the uh, ships. Uh, like, I, I stole some stuff. Well, I didn't steal anything. I procured some salvage. Uh, but I didn't talk about how I can actually like build out my ship. I'm gonna toggle the power on this switch, power this door, and go get this crowbar. That's a, that's a tip I got for you. First time I played it, I missed it because I didn't couldn't see in the dark. Now I didn't even turn this on. Uh, oh, did I? Oh, I did learn something last time. So if I put this PDA here now. I know there's something on the clip of the pressure suit. I thought I had to take everything off and to put the pressure suit on, I'd have to take the shoes off too. But if I put the pressure suit in my hand, it allows me to get the pocket points or the clip points and so on. So that is how I can get this out without putting the pressure suit on. I didn't know that. Now we all know. You guys probably knew. But I could have turned this light on. Um, it's got four batteries, and that would have helped me see a little bit better, but I, did, I didn't. No need. So I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to leave this on all the time. It's going to drive you guys crazy, but that's how I do. Um, I do my best, but uh, these things happen. It's a locked door. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm not going to start hacking day one, everybody. Calm down. Um, episode one, we learned this, that the little triangles mean this is not attached. I am going to install this. I think it's worth it. Uh, let's go ahead and walk on over there and install it. Remember, we got a times five because probably our skills and the tools that we have. I don't know if there's a way to really see a better breakdown of why it's times five. And this bar that's going down is our progress bar. So if it was times one, that'd be going a lot slower. Um, we can multiply the time up. But uh, I'm just going to let it play. We got this. No rush. This is going to complete the circuit. And I did just learn some buttons. I know X is for like uh, how damaged things are. I think it's N. 
No, that's zones. What is the power button? KL. Oh, was it? It was L. So this shows everywhere where there's power circuits. They tend to run in the walls. So that's a pretty smart idea. This was missing a circuit. We just installed it. And now we can get into this room. Now this room's dark. So I am going to uh, toggle that on. I'm going to press the two button. See, these are one, two, three, four. So that'll help me out. See, now I can see. Uh, I'm going to press the one button. I'm going to try to be better at using hotkeys. Ah, see, that got us the welder without having to buy the welder. Ah, right? So now we can work on our ship. It also got us a tactical knife. Um, hmm. Let's see. I'm going to leave the... For now. For now. I'm going to leave this drink pouch on this rack. And maybe we'll just remember it when we when we come back. All right. So I don't think there's anything up here, but we'll take a look because we're exploring the station. Um, these doors are... Let's see. It says it's closed. I'm just going to try to open it. Um, cannot reach that location. It says I start opening the door, but it didn't open. Um, is it powered? No power. Huh. Have you guys uh, tried powering up these doors and see what happens? I, I don't have the extra circuits on me, but I would need, what, one, two? Hmm. I can uninstall those two circuits. I'd get some skills. There's not like a rush. Man, this station is beat up. Um, what was the other button? Let's find out. Let's go to game options, controls. Um, I won't look here forever. Uh, gas. Okay, it's G for gas. L for zone. N is zone UI. G for gas. Ah, oh, that's important. So I'm mousing over here. I'm going to zoom in. Right to the this side. There's KPA of 79.97 KPA of blue and 21.99 KPA of green. I believe blue is nitrogen and green is oxygen. So that's a good mixture right there. Uh, so good to know. That's what the G button does. When I was trying to uninstall the tanks in episode one, I, that's what I would have known. Because I thought everything was empty, but it's because it wasn't showing me like the like this. If I mouse over that, it looks like zero KPA. But I'm looking at an O2 can and it's showing me nitrogen KPA. But if I hit G, I can... Here, let me walk down there next to this guy welding. This green tank is the O2 tank. Now I see there's 41,000 KPA in that O2 tank. But if I hit G, it's kind of uh, misleading. So I hope they eventually just know to default when you mouse over to like what the gas is anyway. So here's some vendors. Uh, let's see what they got. We're here to explore some street food, kebab of chicken, some spot prawn curry. Oh, this is exactly what it told us. There's that alligator pepper and seared tomatoes. Mm, it's like new, but that is some pricey, pricey stuff. Um, oh, cool. And it shows like it's 2079, 825, uh, 1405, and at 1524. They get a new inventory. So let's see what's in the cart down here. Um, some Edamo protein noodles, some chili vinegar fish balls, and some Szechuan beef with pink peppercorn. Oh, that's where that was. But then it's pricey. Hmm, it doesn't even tell me, like, what I get out of it. Like, how much food or all those things. Um, who is this guy? What is, that's Austin Fosh Hale. Can we talk to you? Uh, let's see. What is all this? Oh, we can. Look at that. We could uh, tackle. We could dodge. We could we could just scan the room. We could ask him ask him about a metaphysical quandary. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna bug him about that. But here's the supplies. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, cargo pants, orange, like new. Um, Coraliner. This is, wow. 
This ablative core liner replacement. I left one of those on episode one. I saw it on the ship. Look at that price, 10000 So if we see this ablative core liner, we're going to uh, drag it onto our ship. I wonder how many squares that takes up. Uh, cigarette. You know what? Let's sell some stuff. Oh, he doesn't want any of our stuff. Not wanted. Not wanted. All right. Um, oh, he's got like a really nice flask. Five kilogram. Air pump, CO2 canisters. Loose. Are these full or empty? A compressed gas canister for holding pressurized oxygen. Um, it's not saying if it's 100% it's condition, but I don't know if it, I bet it's empty. It's just the canister. Uh, pressure suit, CO2 scrubber. I bet if we have more people, oh wow, is this a better, a hermetically sealed suit capable of protecting the user from hard vacuum. Ah, uh, it has its own onboard air rebreather and O2 tank. See, I think ours is just like an EVA suit, but it doesn't have like a long term breathing situation. Um, the batteries I want, this I didn't catch last time. I bought the batteries, but what I really want are the rechargers. So the Gott and the Halverson that goes for like, for example, the, the drill is a got, the grinder is a got, so that's the uh, the brand. Uh, so actually, I'm gonna check our inventory first. Ooh, so they have this small crate. Cost 715. Ooh, they have a backpack for 322. Yep, I'm not even gonna question it. We're buying the backpack. And I was thinking about buying the crate to put on our ship because we'll be able to put more in the crate than we can. But we might find a crate, so I'm just going to get a backpack for now. Let's not overdo it. Problem is, is when you're wearing your EVA chute, you can't wear a backpack. So things, oh, so many things to keep in mind. Um, except, I don't know if that was a good thing to do or a bad thing to do. See, right now I'm dragging that backpack. Um, what I'm going to do is put that on the ground. I'm going to put the bag in my hand. I'm going to put the backpack on my back. Uh, we're going to put the tools. In that hand. And nothing's on the ground. Okay, we're going to go to the ship. <laughs> Because we have a lot of stuff on us. Is this our airlock? It's right here. Um, this is good. This is good. Um, okay. It's a little dark in here, but that's all right. Nothing to be scared about. Uh, let's go ahead and move right here. Where do we want the toolbox? I think I'm going to put the toolbox like right here. So let's put this on the ground. I'm going to hit R to rotate it. Boom. Perfection. I just have a problem when I put the toolbox on the ground. Uh, I forget the tools a lot, and I got to start remembering what tools are used for what. Um, when I right click on it, it, it would tell me. Like if I mouse over uninstall, it'll say I need a more more torque screwdriver to uninstall that. What? Uh, select the tiles on the ground. Wear and tear. Okay, skipping all that stuff. Um, okay, so I got that on the ground. What else are we going to do here? Um, I think I'm going to put the tote. Here's what we're going to do with the tote. Uh, this is our backpack. It gets the good stuff. Our tote, we're going to put on the ground, and I'm going to leave it filled with, like, all the T-shirts. Um, I'm going to put the small pouch... Um, I don't remember which pouch now, but oh, this is the pouch that attaches to the uh, the bag. That makes sense. Um, rice wine, cigarette box, PDA, knife. No, that's all. That's that's how that's all gonna go. Uh, hip pocket. Okay, that's fine. 
Um, my point is then I'm going to hit into zone, make a zone, is I want to put the tote bag on the ground in my ship and then just put a bunch of sellable stuff on it. So I'm going to select all of, say, that. And that's going to be add new zone. Cargo A, just like the first episode for barter. Awesome, sweet. So anything else I want to drop now? I think everything else is fine. Um, is that on? I'm going to turn that toggle power. Yep, that's off. Light. When it's flashing in my face, that means it's on. Uh, hit pocket. Pow. Pow. I don't want to mess with the pockets that are in this or any pockets right now. Uh, so then I'm going to put this on the ground in that front corner. I'm going to probably forget about that tote bag because let me walk up here. It is. Wow, where is it? That is hard to see. It's down there in the corner. Is it under the switch? Oh, it is. Okay. I see where it is. So if I click on that, nope. If I don't left click, if I right click on the ground is the tote. Uh, you can toggle between things up here. Like I can click on the floor, the compartment, the tote, and the switch are all in this square. So, okay. Um, while I don't know what I'm going to do, I'm going to auto task. And my guy's going to start repairing. It's 1409.33. I know we've stretched on quite a bit. Um, so next episode, I'm going to do some repairing. And I'm going to take care of that off camera. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to repair. So you guys keep track of time. Uh, I do want to get some charging stations. That's what I wanted to check charging stations for the tools that we have. So we do have a Halverson. The charge is 100%. Um, let's cancel that. Let's go over here. Let's see. We have the Got soldering iron. Uh, we have the plus screw screwdriver. And then he has the other item in his hand because of the work he was just doing. So that's pretty cool, which is a hacksaw and its condition is 80%. So, um, wow, do I own Halverson? Do I not have any got? I have the got soldering iron. Okay, so we are going to head on back. I'm gonna finish out by buying some supplies. In the next episode, we will probably go hit up our first derelict. I don't think I'm going to get any gigs yet. Um, and I'm going to probably wait a few days or, you know, I, I probably do an episode about every week. I don't I don't pump out episodes like too crazy, <laughs> to be fair. Um, but it gives everyone time to kind of like comment, give me tips. I'm really going to see this as like a let's do this together thing, even though I'm not like live streaming it. But I really do appreciate your comments. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get a battery charger, battery charger. I'm not going to get this Weber because that's expensive. Must be for a whole different kind of battery. Yeah, it's massive too, 25 kilograms. These are tiny. Um, and you know what I could do? Uh, let's go ahead and purchase. That's just money, right? Who needs money? purchase an extra of the batteries so they're already going to be too charged so when I'm, you know, that's that's how I am at, like, at home. I always have a a pair on there charging so I'm always charged up. Uh, so we're going to do that. Bye. This is why we got a job. We did things before in our 20s. We were responsible. This I did not click on and the fairy kiosk I did not click on during that first tutorial. And these are important. Like station market is kind of nice. I guess it's going to show all the different locations and what's selling for what. So we want to play that kind of market. That's not usually the way I play these space games. Like Elite Dangerous I wasn't like. I 
I like it, but uh, I just don't get too lost in the numbers. If it's a mission and it tells me, uh, I'm all for it, but this one I think was, mm, nope, this is different. Pacific Airlines Space uh, Service, I guess it would just take me to another place. I didn't think about that. I could just pay and I bet my ship would just automatically be there. That's pretty cool. Um, and then we've got this fuel kiosk that I also didn't click on. This is like what we have on board, what our max is, and how much we're going to spend. We haven't left yet, so we haven't used any RCS. It's full. It's maxed out. I can't buy any. Like, I can't. Can I sell some? Oh, I can't sell it either. Uh, but what is happening is I went on and I was using some power, right? So some power went away. I have a... Ooh, do I have a... I must have a battery on my ship. And I'm running off of that battery. Eventually, I think I'll be able to get stuff that I can recharge my own battery. Like some... I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out. Right now, when we come back and dock, we have to pay. Um, pay to play kind of thing. And I'm trying to think. I think there's also just a... Yeah, just a dockage... Uh, and a fee. So the longer we're just hanging out here, like talking and wasting time, it's wasting money. So it's crazy. We can't just like hang out for days for no, no, re wait, did someone leave their helmet on the floor? Can I just pick that up? Pick it up. Really? Someone left a perfectly good space helmet on the ground. Huh, what's going on on TV? Can we watch the TV? We can change, we can watch drama reruns? Hells yeah. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing for the rest of uh, next episode is gonna be, we're gonna sit in this chair. Can I sit? I can sit. Oh man, and we're taking in some drama. Oh my goodness. All right, let's, this is not why we're here. Look at that lighting. I love the realistic lighting. I think there's a whole fog mode we can mess with and enable, disable. Uh, kiosks, more kiosks. Um, look at that, they have their, oh, they have a battery charger. Am I allowed to use this battery charger? Are people just leaving batteries here by accident? That'd be nice. Now I feel like I'm playing that hobo game where I'm like checking all the, checking change for everything. Um, but we could buy a license. I've never bought one before. Uh, let's sell some scrap. Sell. What are you going to take? You're going to take that, uh... You know what? Take it. Ooh, that's like no money, but whatever. Uh, cargo A. Oh, look at that. When we bought that stuff, it automatically went into cargo A. I love that. That's so awesome. See, now I can click on, on those two t-shirts... We're gonna sell the uh, Black Bull and Cloud Racer. We're gonna keep our uh, California shirt. Um, and then we're gonna sell the cigarettes because don't smoke. Um, oh, wait, no, that's not cigarettes. That's marijuana. Never mind. I mean, it's a cig marijuana cigarette, but never mind. Um, I am not saying do or don't nothing. I'm just, uh, we're gonna just accept. Take that $13 and move on. Uh, what do you think? Should we check out the commercial area and the estates and the emporium, the, the Mesca form place, or should we do our first derelict next mission? I've never been to all these other places, so I kind of like just, hey, today was Port Easy Kiwi. <laughs> Easy Kiwi, guys. And uh, we just kind of go from what is going on over here. They're waiting for play games. Are they waiting for Monty Plays Games? Are you guys waiting for me? They're all around this terminal. Join game? What? What are we playing over here, guys? Mm-hmm. Watching some YouTube. We're playing. What's happening? Terminal together with By Burns. I'm playing with By Burns. Where's By Burns? Who are these people? Anyway, I, I don't even know. Should we be socializing with these people? They might eat people. We don't know. We just don't go hanging out playing games. I should talk to strangers first before talking to strangers. Anyway, uh, on that note, I need um, coffee, obviously. And uh, I will catch you next episode when we figure out what we're going to do in Ostro.
notes. And uh, yeah, I will uh, I will be looking forward to your comments to tell me what to do. And I am forever at um, your service. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, keep on keeping on and all that. So bye.